This is going to be a short IX Network video demonstrating how to configure a multicast quick test. We're going to start by adding the ports from our chassis. And in this test, we're going to have four ports configured. Uh, one will be the source and three receivers. And we'll make the first port source, second port receiver one, receiver two, and receiver three. Okay. And now we're going to go to the quick test. And you can start configuring a quick test either here or up top in the GUI ribbon. Okay. And we're going to go to the IP multicast quick tests. And for this one, we're going to do mixed class throughput. The mixed class throughput allows you to configure unicast and multicast, and for this particular test, we'll just leave out the unicast. And over on the left, we can see that our ports have reset, and we have link, so everything's up green. And we're going to go on through the wizard. This is a new configuration. We click Next. Okay, and for the endpoints that we're setting up, we're going to use the next generation protocol framework. So that's default. We'll click next. And here we're going to set up the ports. We're including all four ports in the test. We click next. Under traffic, this is where you specify your traffic map. So we're going to source from the source port. And we're going to receive multicast on the three receiver ports. Click next. Okay. Uh, you click manual here up top. These are the MAC addresses that these ports are going to use. Um, you don't necessarily have to change this. Your sessions is how many endpoints you're going to have on each port. We'll just have one endpoint for now. Click next. And for the IP configuration for those ports, again, just one session or one endpoint on each port. And uh, we're going to put each of these IPs on these four ports on the same subnet. So we'll have 100, 102, and we're going to increment across the ports. Okay, click OK. So 2, 3, 4, and 5 are all on the same subnet. It's a slash 24. And we'll make 100, 101 the gateway for all of these hosts. Okay, so it's all in the same subnet. You know, this would be your your switch or your router or your device in the middle. Um, and we're gonna click next. For the IP multicast stream, typically is gonna use a UDP uh, header, so we'll leave that. You can change your source and destination port if you need to. We're going to use the defaults here. Click Next. Okay. So on the receiver ports, your IGMP host configuration, the first thing you want to check is you expand your IGMP group range. Okay. This is the first multicast group that the first receiver port is going to join. Okay. We have three ports, so I'm going to come down here and you set your total group count to three. Okay. So each port is going to join a multicast group. First port will join dot one, second port dot two, third port dot three. The group distribution, I'm going to set this to distributed per port. So it's going to distribute one host for each port. If you were to make this number six, then each receiver port would join two groups from the same host. So receiver port one would join dot one and dot two, and then receiver port 2 would join uh, dot 3 and 4 and so forth. So we'll leave this at 3 for now. And that's all we're going to change here. Everything else should be fine. And we'll click Next. The traffic options, the thing that we want to change here, we're going to set the frame size to custom and I'm going to make it 1300 bytes for the 
uh, multicast stream that's going to come from the source port. And I'll click Next. Under the Stats parameters, I'm just going to enable to calculate latency. Uh, cut through latency, this should match how the DUT or your device is configured. And we'll click Next. Under your test parameters, uh, the duration, this one's important. This is how long you want the multicast stream to be transmitted. Um, I'm just going to set it to 20 seconds. Okay, to keep the test short. And if we come here for the tra uh, traffic distribution, we'll set this to multicast only. And under the iteration parameters, I'm going to also set this to custom. And I'm going to specify the load unit as megabits per second and I'm going to send 700 megabits per second. Okay, so this 700 megabits I'm actually sending three streams from the source port so each one's going to be about 230 megabits. If you wanted each one to have 700 megabits then you just multiply that by three. Um, and these are 10 gig ports that I'm using right now. Okay, so we'll click Next, and you rename your quick test here, and we'll hit Finish. Now while this is building the test, if you look over here on the left, you notice that the Ethernet, IP, and IGMP configuration is getting built. These are your endpoints for your source port and your receivers, and we'll look at those briefly in a minute. It's also going to build the uh, traffic item here. You're going to see this pop up. That's going to be the multicast stream that we send from the source port to the receivers. The IGMP host endpoints here, these are the multicast hosts or receivers that are going to join those three multicast groups that we have configured. It's a different group on each port. Looks like it's getting close. There it's created the traffic. And just finishing up. Okay, so if we go look real quickly, you can click on these individually, but I'm going to click on the scenario up top. Okay, here's your endpoints for the source. You have one, okay, because all three multicast groups are coming from the one source IP, 100.102. Over here, you've got three ports, three receivers with, if we click on IP configuration you can see 3, 4, and 5. Okay, and if we click on the IGMP host, we can see three IGMP hosts, one for each port, and one group range. If we click on the group range tab, these are the groups that are getting joined. So receiver port one, this host is joining dot one, the next host is joining dot two, the next host is joining dot three. You remember I said if we set that number to six instead of three, we'd have two per port. What would happen is this number would be two, two, two for the group address count, and your group address would be start with one, and this would be three, and this would be five. So it would be one and two, three and four, five and six. Okay. The one thing I have to change on my setup just so we can run the test, and you won't need to do this most likely, I'm going to disable the resolve gateway because I actually do not have a device in the middle. Okay, um, And we go quickly look at the traffic. This is the multicast stream. You see it's being sent from the source and it's expected to possibly be received on receiver port 1, 2, and 3, assuming that it joins the group correctly and the multicast gets uh, forwarded to the receivers properly. Okay. And if we quickly look in the traffic item, you can see the frame size we're sending, the rate we're sending, and if we go to the packet editor, expand this, okay. Uh, right down here at the bottom, you can see packet one of three. So this source two is joining, or not joining, sorry, sending the multicast stream for dot one, two, and three and the destination max should match that multicast group, one, two, and three, okay? 
Okay. So let's run the test. So you click on quick test here and we start the quick test. As the test runs, if you've clicked on quick test on the left, you're going to get a real time update here in the log window that walks you through where you're at in the test. You'll also get real time stats down here at the bottom. I'll take it just a second to get started. Okay, you notice over here the next gen framework, the endpoints are all green. So everything is up and ready to go. And we're transmitting traffic. Okay, so if we look at the flow view or the flow statistics here, um, we can see we're sending about 233 megabits per second. So it's that 700 megabit rate divided by three only the first receiver port is receiving, which is expected, just because of the way my setup is. When the test is done, it's going to launch the, um, the data miner. Which allows you to go back and uh, look at the results afterwards. That's what this is right here. Okay. If you run multiple tests, then you can click through multiple tests here, and then you go down right below, and you can flip through the, the results. Okay. You can also go back to tests here, and you can right-click, and you can generate reports. Okay. So that's the basics of running a multicast quick test using IX Network. Thanks for watching.